And welcome back. Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's on your mind today? Hi, Tom. Kudos to effective, responsible elected officials in contrast to corrupt folks like Joe Manchin. I'm really impressed by Jeannie Raskin. I participated in a video conference with him last night for boldprogressives.com. Mm -hmm. And also my friend and representative in Congress, Pramila Jayapal, who's proven ever since I've known her that she's a very responsible person who really does care about her constituents in Seattle. She's constantly keeping us informed and educated about important legislation she's working on. She's always trying to help people living in poverty and working families. And it's just great to have such a dedicated progressive fighter in Congress for my district. And luckily, yeah, she's got a very safe seat, which is so good. After taking over for Jim McDermott, after he retired, after, what, 14 terms. Yeah. But she went with similar numbers to him, like 80% of the vote. Mm. And Republicans won't even try to run anyone against her. So, she, you know, she represents Seattle, of course, where progressive public officials are pretty popular. But Representative Raskin was really an inspiration uh, last night during our video conference call. And it's great to see an elected official that doesn't pull any punches when calling out right-wing extremism and neo-fascists. He called Trump the leader of a crime family. And he explained that one of the potential strategies that they were trying to do was to try to disqualify the election results and then throw it to the House of Representatives where each state would have a vote, a one vote, and Trump would have won. Right. And he also called the Electoral College a danger to U.S. democracy and to the American people, and he cited the election of Trump as an example. And he's, you know, he supports the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. And by the way, 15 states have adopted legislation to join the NPVIC. So together they represent 195 Electoral College votes now. And it would go into effect if states representing at least 270 electoral college votes adopt that legislation. That's correct. But in any case, it's National not surprising. Vote.com is the website. Yeah. It's not surprising that Raskin was named by the New Yorker magazine as Man of the Year. He's done a stellar job on the January 6th committee, and he was, a, he was great as a lead manager during Trump's second impeachment. So there are some good, responsible public officials out there. Our own city council member, Democratic Socialist Shama Sawant, uh, won a recall election that was launched against her by very conservative corporate interests in Seattle, trying to get rid of her. And she's another uh, public official who constantly stays in touch with her constituents, is always you know, communicating with us about what she's doing and how we can support her and what needs to be done in the city of Seattle. So there are some public officials out there, Tom, who are doing the right thing, and they set a great example for people who really want to see responsible elected officials who do the right thing. So kudos to them, and, you know, I love them all for just for being there. So thank goodness. Yeah, well said. What, what was your conference call, your Zoom call with the Raskin? That was for progressive, uh, that was for the group um, that we're involved with called boldprogressives.com. Uh -huh. And he talked specifically... Adam Green's group. Up, yeah, he talked specifically about what happened on January 6th of course, he's got a book out there, too, mm -hmm. about you know, threats to democracy in the United States. And, yeah, he fielded all sorts of very uh, intricate and detailed questions about what's happening with the January 6th committee, what's happening with the people who have been indicted and subpoenaed. So it was very educational. And he's very much an inspiration to those of us who believe in democracy. Yeah, and he's, a, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, Jamie okay. Raskin. Yeah. Uh, Mark, thanks a lot for the call. It's great to hear from you. Always nice to hear from you. Uh, we'll be back. It's 20 minutes past the hour. Anything goes Friday here on the Tom Hartman program. Stick around. Thanks so much for sharing our program and for reaching out to our stations and sponsors and letting them know that you're listening. It really means a lot to us. Hey, remember Andrew Wheeler? He was this coal lobbyist that Donald Trump plucked out of obscurity and put in charge of our nation's Environmental Protection Agency. He was the EPA administrator. He's the guy who said there was this new pesticide they wanted to bring to market. It causes permanent brain damage in children. He said, that's fine. Put it in the food supply. He's the guy who raised the levels of mercury and radiation to which children can be exposed. He's the guy who closed down the EPA's Office on Children's Health. He's the guy who shut down the EPA's office that provides scientific advice to Congress. He's the guy who stopped enforcing the clean water rule so that the
polluters could have a field day. He's the guy who told the oil and gas companies, hey, we're no problem problem on methane we're no longer going to enforce the legal limits and of course he's the guy who ditched the rule that required cleaning up toxic uh, coal ash he is now the secretary of natural resources for the state of virginia and he's got that job because virginia just elected a republican governor there's a video about it over at tomhartman.com check it out Welcome back, Tom.